we're going to start a series over Plan 3D, and we're going to create a project from basically beginning to end, uh, starting out with the PNIDs, then going over to the modeling side of things, and then going into the drawing creation, uh, creating isometrics and plans and sections with inside of Plan 3D. Um, I hope uh, you can remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're growing the channel and we'd like to grow it more of course so here we go let's start so in the last video what we did was we had um, our heat exchanger and we had our pump and we connected the two uh, but what i did forget to put in there was how to create a equipment first and when you do a pnid you typically want to go ahead and have the uh, put the equipment in there first so you can kind of get your layout um, information in there uh, or your layout done and we kind of skipped that step so we're going to go back and do that um, I can copy this uh, pump if we wanted to but uh, we're not going to do that I'm actually going to show you how to create a new one and then modify the data because uh, this pump is pump 001. Uh, we're going to do a redundant pump, so this will be 001A, and the new one will be 001B. So uh, let's go ahead and make sure that uh, your tool palette is loaded. If it's not, just type in tool palette, and it should pop up. Um, and also make sure that you're actually in the PNID uh, layout. It does have... Uh, different items in your tabs and so to make sure you're there basically you hit your workspace and make sure you're on PNID PIP or whatever uh, PNID you're working on so once you have the tool palette open uh, make sure that you're on the equipment tab you'll have different tabs on the right uh, left hand side uh, or it might be on the right hand side depending on where you have it docked uh, but if you look for the equipment tab, you have uh, different types of equipment, pumps, exchangers, storage tanks, so on and so forth. So we're going to click on tank, I mean on the pump, um, and so we're going to click on that one. And now we've got it uh, coming in, and we're going to align right now with the uh, nozzles. So we're going to click on that one, okay, and then this dialog box is going to come up. And so basically you're going to give it um, the type, uh, pumps, uh, and if you don't see if there's a, a uh, abbreviation you want to put in here, you can go ahead and manually type it, and I'll show you that right now. So we're going to say uh, PMP for pump, and we're going to hit tab. And you can see that the tag right now has changed to PMP. So we're going to give it a number, you know, 001. And we're going to say this one's B. So you notice that it's red. By default, or out of the box of Plan 3D, uh, the numbering for equipment is like three digits. And so if you add another digit or you take away a digit, it's going to say, hey, something's wrong. It's not going to cancel it. It's not going to you know, negate it. It's just kind of giving you a warning that, hey, it's, it's wrong um, or something doesn't match. So once we do that, then it says, uh, play, you know, there's a radio box right here, place annotation to assign tag. We're going to click on that one. And we got equipment tag, oval tag, pump, info tag, and uh, tag. So I'll show you what these do in a second. So we're going to do equipment tag, and we're going to um, where we place it, and it's going to say, "Hey, where do you want to put the annotation?" Uh, we're going to put the annotation right below it, and so there is PMP 001B. Okay. Well, we've got 001 here, but it's not named uh, A, B, C, D, or anything like that. So we're going to change that. So if you click on it, okay, and we're going to go uh, to our properties. 
And when you're working inside of a PNID, you're definitely going to have to have your property tabs open. Uh, so uh, that's something you're going to go back to over and over and over again. So we're going to click on that one and we're going to give this one an A. Okay, because, well, it's done really good. It deserves an A. So we're going to say PMP. Okay, we don't need to place the tag because the tag is already there. So we're going to uncheck that box and we're going to hit assign. And now you see that the, the tag is automatically changed. Okay, so we now we have our two pumps in here. And so I want to go a little bit more uh, depth into the information that uh, the uh, equipment has. So we're going to click on that and go into our uh, properties here. So you can see that our tag number right here uh, is identified uh, but that is pulling in from other information so if you look at our type here is our type and here's our number so if we change this one let's say to a blower okay you can see that it changes right here and right here on the tag uh, so you can change it from right there so we're gonna say go back to our PMP and there's that uh, you can put other information in here. This is out of the box. I have not made too much changes to this, but we got manufacturing, model number, supplier, and, and a whole bunch of other information for uh, this um, pump. So now, if we look at our layout here, um, let's pretend we have a line that is coming in. To the pump okay from here to here okay well now we got a parallel set of pumps in here so we're going to connect this one so we're going to say hey this one is going from here up to here okay Now, if we don't like the position, let's say the position of this exchanger is not where we want it to be. If we move this exchanger, I'll make sure, okay, and we're going to click right there. You see the line and the annotation grows with it, or moves with it, not grows with it, but the line grows, but the... Um, the tag comes along with the uh, equipment when you move it. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at some of our other annotations that we can place in here. So if we click on uh, a pump, let's say this one right here, and we're going to right click on this one. We're going to say annotate. And now we got, uh, let's look at oval tag style. Let's see what that looks like. We're going to put that right there. So basically it just puts it in a, a, a container uh, that's an oval. Um, that might be your style you know for calling out your equipment. You can do the underline or you can modify this and that's more into the admin side of things and uh, we can get into that much later after we're done with this project. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to go to annotate and then there's our pump info tag. Okay, so we're going to bring this one down and uh, we're going to bring it all the way down here. And so what the pump info tag is, uh, on your P9Ds typically you have equipment uh, call outs um, across the bottom. Some of them are at the top uh, depending on the standards. Um, I usually like all my stuff on the bottom. Um, you know, so that way you just look at one place for it. Uh, but basically, it has the name, the horizontal centrifugal pump. That's a call out. I'll show you where to change that in a minute. Uh, and then we have some other information that's in here. Now, if you want to know what that is, if you double click on this one, it will bring up a uh, another box, and we can expand this out. 
and it will tell you what each one of these are. So we got our type, our number, our description, manufacturer, uh, pump flow or the flow at uh, whatever the dynamic head pressure is. And so you can change all this. And so let's say um, this is from ABC manufacturer. Okay. And we're going to hit OK. And so you see that it, it comes in here. But if we click on the pump itself and we come over here, you can see that in the, the properties of that pump, because even though we put it in here, it comes into this data right here. Uh, say we don't want, we want to change this, and we just say this is a, um, you know, process pump. Okay, so we change it there, and you will see that it changed it in the pump information. So, you know, this is live, and it's it's attached to each other. So you change one somewhere, it'll change it to someplace else. Um, th that's one of the beautiful things about, you know, intelligent PNIDs or even just, you know, um, pseudo intelligent PNIDs. Uh, there's programs out there um, that does not have the database, but the data for that object has attributes that, um, you know, you can change and modify and it will hold that information uh, that you can extract out later on. So, so that's a brief overview uh, over the equipment uh, inside of Plant 3D PNID portion. Uh, our next video, we're going to be looking at uh, you know our line numbers again and how to connect it from page to page. Um, so I hope you stay tuned for that.